All right, so this, this question isn't worth many marks, uh, which we hope means it won't be too much work. Uh, it might, be, might still be very difficult, but it may, shouldn't be too much work. Uh, let's have a look. Andros has an oil-fired heating system. In a 30-day period, he used a full tank of oil at a constant rate per day. At a different time of the year, the amount of oil Andros uses per day is a third of the rate used in the 30-day period. How many days should a full tank of oil last at this new rate? So, you may want to have a think about that before I tell you the answer. It's difficult because there, there, there really isn't much maths for us to do to get these two marks. We just have to make sure we do the right thing. Now, if he uses oil at a third of the rate, that's like he's saying it, it's like saying he's using it at a third of the speed. And if he's using it at a third of the speed, you could say it's three times slower. Yeah, you know, they, they mean the same thing. Doing something at a third of the speed is the same as doing it three times slower. Um, that might help get your head around what we need to do. But if he uses, uh, sorry, bear with me. Let me just read the question again. Full tank of oil, a third of the rate. Oh yeah, okay, so in a 30 day period, he uses a full tank. He uses it a third of the rate. So it's gonna last him three times longer. If he's using, it, if he's using oil three times slower, then what he's got is gonna last him three times longer. So if uh, it normally lasts him, a full tank normally lasts him 30 days, that's what I was trying to read. It does say in a 30 day period, he uses a full tank of oil. So uh, that full tank of oil lasts him 30 days, but because he's using it three times slower or a third of the rate, it's going to last him three times as long. So it's going to last him 90 days. Um, and that's it. So really, like I said, there wasn't that much maths for us to do. Um, all we had to do was just times by three, the amount of time it used to last him because he's using it three times slower or at a third of the rate. Um, that can't, that, I, I know I've spoken a lot about it already, but just to say one more time, if, if it was something else, if it was running, if you run at a third of the rate as someone else, you're three times slower. If you're driving at a third of the rate as someone else, you're driving three times slower. So if someone was doing, I don't know, 30 miles an hour and you're driving at a third of that rate, you're only driving at 10 miles an hour. That's three times slower. So a third of the rate is like saying it's three times slower. All right, let's talk about part B. Uh, use reverse calculation to show a check of your answer. So this time it is telling us which um, type of check it wants us to do. It's a reverse calculation. And as a reminder, uh, if we had originally done something like um, nine times four equals 36, then the reverse calculation starts with the answer and instead of times by four, we would divide by four, and 36 divided by four is nine, which proves that our original answer was correct. So we need to find a way of doing a reverse calculation of what we've done in our working out box here. So we are going to start with our answer, which was 90. Instead of timesing by three, we're going to divide by three, and we're hoping that when I press equals, we get 30. We do, so there is my reverse check. Now, just because it does say write your check in the box below, uh, I am gonna write it out in there as well as having it in the working box. So what we did is 90 divided by, and it's fine to use this slash for divided by in your, um, if, it doesn't, if you don't have a way of putting the divide sign. So 90 divided by three equals 30. That was our reverse check. So that's it, quite a short question. It's just quite conceptual trying to understand that a third of the rate means he uses it three times slower. So it's gonna last him three times longer. Lots of, lots of threes in there, but that's how it works. Hope that helped. On to the next question.